sometimes I don't feel I'm an athlete. If there's a road race in Maine. I ended up doing 87 races in 2017. Odds are 68-year-old Alan Genest will be there with his running shoes on. I never did anything. I never exercised. I never, I could walk up a flight of stairs and be all tied out. I'd be breathing hard. Alan got a late start to the sport that now has become his life. One road race in 2008 got it all started. I didn't know nothing about running. I mean, I didn't know, it, I didn't do very good, but I did it. His running really started to pick up the pace after he lost his wife of 39 years, Penny. If this is my wife here. She died of a heart attack in 2011. Everybody grieves them in their own way. And I knew I had to move on, and so I did. And, and the running community changed my life, and, and it helped me out a lot. Then from there, it just bloomed, and I just kept on going. And then I get addicted. With 461 races in the last 10 years, Alan has put some serious pavement underneath his feet. But he tells me it's not really about the running. I love being around people. I don't really like running alone at all. I wouldn't go out and say, oh, I'm going for a run today. I'd rather be around a whole bunch of people and just supporting people and saying hi and, you know, hugging and, and talking about, you know, running. So far this year, Alan has run 36 road races and counting. I'm going to keep going until my body says no. And Alan's body does occasionally take a beating. Back in April, with about a mile left in the urban runoff race in Portland, he fell and dislocated his shoulder. I just got up and I tried to run, but the pain was so bad I couldn't. I come to the finish line, I look like death warmed over. I have finished every race I have started. And even when Alan isn't running, he's at races and track meets. You've got to give to get. I support everything I can. I go to everything I can. Taking pictures and cheering on friends of all ages. All the people that I have met. I mean, there's so unbelievable, wonderful people out there. And they changed my life. They made me a better person. You never know what you can do if you never tried. And get out there and make a difference. Words Alan plans to live by and run by for the rest of his life. Without this, I don't know what I'd have. <laughs> In Sanford, there's no stopping it. Beth McAvoy, News Center, Maine.